Changes in interest rates of deposits and loans and advances can make or break a bank's earnings. In this video, we're exploring interest rate risk in the banking book, what it is, why it happens, and how it's measured. By the end, you'll understand why bank regulators watch interest rate risk so closely, and how banks manage such risk. One of the bank's most important jobs is asset transformation. That means buying assets, like extending loans and advances or government bonds, and funding them by issuing liabilities, like deposits. The assets a bank buys often have different maturity and liquidity characteristics than the liabilities it uses to fund them. This is called asset liability mismatch. This mismatch in maturities is a key source of interest rate risk. The Basel Committee on Banking Supervision addresses this risk under the guideline BCBS 368, Interest Rate Risk in the Banking Book, now integrated into the Consolidated Basel Framework. These global standards guide banks on measuring, monitoring, and controlling interest rate risk in the banking book. There are two major types of interest rate risk in the banking book. 1. Refinancing risk, when asset and liability maturities are mismatched, and the cost of rolling over liabilities could rise unexpectedly. 2. Reinvestment risk, when future returns on reinvested funds could fall below the cost of funds, squeezing profitability. Banks use three main methods to measure interest rate risk, repricing gap model, looks at the timing difference between rate sensitive assets and liabilities to estimate potential exposure. Maturity method, groups assets and liabilities by maturity bands to see where mismatches occur. Duration model, measures the sensitivity of the economic value of equity to interest rate changes, a more comprehensive approach. Interest rate risk is part of the DNA of banking, you can't eliminate it, but you can measure and manage it. By following the Basel guidelines, banks protect not just their own balance sheets, but also the stability of the entire financial system.